Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, we will navigate from CNN to RN. The convolution neural networks have been completely taught and we have gone through the most important and most frequently used models with complete implementation. We have also tested the way it works. So it is now time for us to understand what exactly is RNN, how does it work and introductory aspect of RNN is going to be covered in this session. We may need about 15 minutes for completing this session, but this is a very important session which is going to set the fundamentals right for the rest of the sessions that we are going to handle in the near future. Right. RNN is actually married to both machine learning and deep learning. Yes, to be very precise, it is married to AI. Recurrent neural networks has got multiple applications and it is actually unstoppable and unavoidable. People are finding a lot of applications in the field of artificial intelligence with the evolving interest in artificial intelligence. People actually find RNN very interesting option. We have been using a lot of applications already which could be in the background using RNN. For an instance, you could be using speech recognition application, language translation, stock market prediction you could have been using, image recognition. All these could have been internally using RNN for its functioning. So, we are going to learn RNN and I think it is very mandatory for anybody to learn it. Right. RNN is one of the types of ANN. We all know it. It is artificial neural network again. Right. The output of the previous step is fed as the input to the current step. This is the most important crux that one should understand. I am going to repeat it again. The output of the previous step is going to be fed as an input to the current step, which means I am going to consider the previous stage output as well to determine the current state output. Yes, this approach is certainly different from the traditional approach or the CNN approach that we have gone through in the previous 10, 10 to 12 sessions. There, we did not care about the previous stage output. We were following a totally traditional approach there where we did not get so much of concern on the previous stage output to determine what the current stage output would be. RNN is an algorithm. RNN is a technique that is going to remember. It has got memory, right? It has got memory like you and me. That's the most important point. Coming to the applications of NLP, can we take, a predi can we take an example? Prediction of words in a sentence, one has to certainly remember what was there in the previous stage. So for those kind of applications, for NLP kind of applications, RNN is most suitable, all right? The RNN can be simply explained and presented to you as a picture right in front of you. How, how many states are there in the traditional neural networks? It has got input layers, it has got hidden layers, it has got output layers, right? This is what we have seen in CNN. For example, I had input layer, there could be convolution layer, uh, there could have, uh, after the convolution, there could be immediate activation, uh, then we had max polling layer, then a couple of more convolution layers based on algorithm, and finally, we went to the uh, fully connected layers and we got the output. That is what is represented here. But here, in RNN, what happens is very simple. I have got input layer, I have got hidden layer, the hidden layer is where we are going to remember things, and this is the state which has got memory, which remembers some information. For example, the previous state output will be remembered and it will be a given back as input, which means we are looping back as input and we will get the output. This could be made very clear with a simple example that I'm going to use a little later in this session where you can understand things pretty more clear. Now, I'm going to take the typical France and French example. This is a very common example people actually suggest everywhere and it's a very easy example for anybody to understand. Now. I had a good time in France. I also learned to speak some dash. Now, if someone asks you to predict what can be that answer for the blank space, how will you predict? Very simple. You will remember what the first line was, what the first phrase was. The first phrase was, I had a good time in France. So you will remember that. And France is obviously connected immediately to your brain with French. So you will give the answer as French, right? we needed memory to remember it. Same is the case with RNN. It has memory and it helps prediction. This is how it works. This is the simplest of aspects that you need to remember towards RNN. I am going to go a bit detailed, but we will go step by step so that you can understand and you can consciously remember what exactly is the change that we have from CNN to RNN. Right. 
RNN is all about sequential memory. What do you mean by that? Very simple. I'll give you an instance. Can you tell me the spelling of alphabets? It is easy for us. A L P H A B E T S. But if I ask you to tell the spelling of alphabets in the reversed order, will you be able to tell immediately? No, you won't be. It will be taking time. Maybe after a few seconds, you will recollect and then you will write it. But the first one was easier. Why? We are all practiced with the sequence. Our brain is all tuned for the sequence and it is easy for us to remember sequence. Like A, B, C, D, E, F is a sequence. But writing the alphabets in the reverse order, for example, Z to A would be a little tougher. Right? So, sequential memory is easy for brain. Same is the case for RNN. It is sequential memory. Right? We are going to go step by step as I told you and it will help you in understanding. I am going to take an example right now as chatbot. And I have got a cool guy in front of you who is going to ask a question to the chatbot as how is the climate outside or right today? Now, RNN is going to be used to solve this question. Now, first step in RNN would be to feed how into the RNN. The first word of the sentence, first word of the question, how is the climate outside today? Well, this, this how alone will be now sent as the question. It will, be, it will be sent as the feed into the first stage of RNN. And what happens is the RNN encodes how and it produces the output. How does it happen? A very simple. The how goes into the RNN. We get the output for the first stage. I mean, the first word is now processed. Now, what next? The second word in the entire question is how is. Now, the is should be sent into the RNN. And what will happen? Our RNN now has got memory. And it will also remember that the previous input was how. Now it remembers how is totally. The hidden layers would have got the status, would have got the previous information which now is how. Remember that. Now what will happen? How and is are available right now. And this will get you the output. Now what will happen to the next stage? That will be sent in. But before that is sent in, the previous stage will be already available. The previous result will be already available in the hidden layer. And together, it will be how is that. So, like this, the complete sequence will work. You can see that first output 1 will come. And now then output 2 will come. But this output 2 is completely derived in addition to the results that we have got from output 1. And now similarly, output 3 will come. This is dependent on output 2, output 1, which we have already got and it's stored in the hidden layers. There is where we need memory. And that is what is the fundamental aspect of RNN. Now what happens? Finally, it will be like this. It will keep on going. And finally, you would have got the question mark as the last push into the RNN. And output 8 would be derived. Now, please understand the point. The final output is derived through the complete sequence. What I mean is, the complete sequence is how is the climate outside right today. This is the complete sequence. Now the final output, output 8 is derived with consideration given to all these important, all these words in this sequence that we have taken into consideration. So the final output in the above example, that is the output 8 can be passed to the feed forward layer and there is where you get the result. That's it is RNN. We are going to take step by step and it will remember the previous state result. And we are going to take the current state output plus the previous state output current state plus the previous state output to get the output for the current state. Remember it. We will learn more together in the next session where I will clearly differentiate the uh, CNN from RNN with some beautiful examples. I hope the playlist is interesting. If you have any questions, suggestions, please go ahead and type it in the comment section. I'll be able to answer them. If you like this channel, please subscribe and refer it to your friends as well. Thank you.